back in the PC-9 after a delightful cruise and we're now ready for descent. I'm not going to do an ordinary descent at a leisurely 2,000 feet per minute but what's known as a maximum rate descent this allows you to get down very quickly. Okay, let's begin that. Move the PCL to idle and pitch down to 22 degrees. When approaching 250 knots, deploy the air brake and it'll start to slow down. So I'll, I'll pitch down even more and try and maintain 250 knots. Uh, the airport we're going to land at is up ahead here, it's Hobart Airport and I'm not going to enter an ordinary circuit pattern but do what's called a initial and pitch also known as a run and break maneuver basically allows you to enter the circuit and land without spending much time at low airspeed it's sometimes performed by high performance aircraft um, especially military aircraft See my attitudes are decreasing it in a rather swift fashion. Maintaining 250 knots fairly well. Okay, I'm going to pull out of this now. Don't want to pull back too hard or I'll over G. And retract the air brake. And I'll maintain about uh, 220 knots. I'll perform my rear joint checks now. Check fuel. Got about a quarter of a tank there, and the uh, left and right tanks are balanced. Check instruments, erect and off flags away. Compass comparison. Check the HSI against the magnetic compass. That they match up, which they do. Set the altimeter to uh, the local parametric pressure and just press B that does it automatically and my ECS environmental control system that should be set on high which it is alright we've got the airport up ahead okay to begin the initial pitch maneuver what you do is you uh, line up with the runway or slightly to the side of it or go slightly to the right hand side of it but you want to be parallel with it Runway heading here is 120 degrees and the circuit height is at 1000 feet. Once we're about halfway up the runway, we do a sharp left hand bank uh, with a 60 degree bank angle and we do a 180 degree turn. This uh, sharp turn induces a lot of drag on the aircraft, slowing the aircraft down rapidly. Okay, that's basically uh, where I want to be in relation to the runway parallel and bit out to the side and I'm coming in at about 220 knots okay, I'm about halfway up the runway now I'll do my left hand bank 60 degrees on the attitude indicator that's that final uh, white increment there it is, I find it, do, it is quite difficult to maintain our tune during um, such a sharp bank, but I'll give it my best shot. Also, um, PCL should be set to idle before you initiate this bank. Yeah, it's not too bad. You want 
ideally the tip of the wing should be lined up with the runway which it just about is so that's pretty happy with that okay we'll add a bit more power here try and stay above uh, 120 knots before my pre-landing trip pre-landing checks the airspeed is below 150 knots air brake is in landing gear deploy got three greens uh, check for brakes for positive fuel check fuel again tanks are balanced okay next we uh, lower the flaps to um, the approach setting or takeoff setting and we do a 30 degree bank to get onto final um, and I'll try and maintain about 110 knots on my approach you know keep looking out the window see if you're lining up with the runway I might have to increase my bank a bit more here and also start descending Yeah, so I've rolled out fairly well in line with the runway. Alright, I'll deploy full flaps now. Threshold speed is at 85 knots. I'm just above 100 now, still slowing down. probably um, land a bit further up the runway than I want but it's just near a runway to land on PCO idle and I'll do a bit of a flare and touch down once my SD SB it's below 60 knots, so I'll commence braking. Like so. And I'll vacate the runway. Let's clear the runway. Perform the after landing checks. Check that the air brake is in, that the flaps are up, retract flaps to up position, probes, not anal probes but the anti-ice probes, you can put them to off, and landing lights, set that, up, make sure that's off, uh, and make sure your strobe beacon light is on. Okay, shutdown checks, PCL is idle, put the parking brake on, standby attitude indicator, cage that, avionics, bass and gen off, inverter off, PCL is off, engine cutoff paddle, pull that up the engine will cut out, the ECS can go to off, Gen Master off, and now we will 
get outside and we'll put the uh, the wheel chocks in place. We can turn off the nav lights and the strobe lights. That master off. Oxygen off. And flight controls locked. Uh, we can the pilots can jump out. Um, we got the prop retainer we can put in and the intake covers. And that is it for um, descent, landing, and uh, shutdown.